Hey guys, it's me. <clears throat> okay, my hair is not glam, but I'm gonna show you guys a pretty, really pretty look with this. It's a little more complicated, so that's why I call this video the glam video, okay? Um, I watched a good friend of mine do this look yesterday and it looked amazing on her, so let's get started. All right. So this is palette number six. If you haven't met, here you go. Get yourself introduced. It's still available, but only for a limited time. This is probably my favorite palette. <laughs> I say that about a lot of palettes, but I really, really like this one and it has a lot of versatility. These colors really do look good on anybody. So any skin tone, anybody, any eye color. Um, if you don't see the live button up here in the corner, hashtag replay in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. And if you're new, write new. So I know that you're new. I, I have a pretty good idea of who is new on my videos because I recognize names or I don't recognize names. But um, anyway, okay, so let's get started, you guys. And please share my video if it gives you anything um, to go on. Okay, so we're gonna start with this color right here. So we've got some pink shades right here and we've got some brown shades down here. We're gonna start with this color and we're gonna do a little bit of mixing between the colors, okay? This color is called Calm, and it's a very nice base color. But before I get started, I almost forgot, and I should have done this before I started with you guys. Um, I'm gonna put some eye primer on, okay? Eye primer is just gonna bring out that, if I can get it out, it's really, it's really almost empty. So, um, okay, so eye primer is gonna help bring out that um, extra color. It's also going to leave, uh, you don't need as much product. That's the purpose of primer in general. Um, you don't need as much product to make an impact and it's going to be more vivid when you're using um, an eye primer. So let me wipe that off. <coughs> and now I'm going to get started. Let me put the lid back on that, you guys. I'm terrible about that. And then it kind of dries out in there. So I'm going to use my blending brush and I'm going to grab the color Calm, as I just showed you. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just start laying that on. Okay. Say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. If you're new, then tell me that too. Okay. I am... Hey, Mercedes, how are you? Good to see you this morning, bright and early. Bright and early for me, probably for you too. All right, I'm gonna drop to my, using my fourth finger here, because I really wanna pack this color on. I know that this color is, on me especially, it really just doesn't even show up, because this is practically my skin color. Um, but it's still going to be a nice base from which to blend the other colors. So it's really nice to start with a nice light or medium color to um, start with so that you can blend the other colors out. Okay, now we're going to move to this color right here, okay? It is called Enthralled and it's the medium brown color, okay? Are you guys ready for this? All right, I'm gonna get a little bit smaller brush. The very first brush I grabbed, let me show you the difference was the biggest blending brush we have. So I'm gonna start big for a larger area, but it's not as impactful with the color. And then as our colors get darker and deeper, we're going to get smaller brushes. So this is my first tip for you guys today. So let's grab the color Enthralled. It's that medium brown, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing it. I'm stippling it on just stippling it on right now, you guys. And then we're gonna start kind of bringing it into the middle. Always um, put your dark colors on the outside of your eye, okay? That is another tip I have for you guys today. All right, we haven't blended it out yet. I'm just kind of placing it. I always place my product um, with eyeshadow and then I go ahead and I blend it after that, okay? So go ahead and stipple it on there. You're just placing the product where you want it. Okay, now I'm wiping off this on my little uh, washcloth in front of me and I'm actually going to take 
that blending brush I just had, um, it's also wiped off. And I'm just gonna blend out those edges just a little bit. I wanna make sure that there is no rough edges on my eyeshadow. You want it to blend seamlessly together, okay? Okay, so now that we got that, now we're gonna go a little bit deeper. I mean, this looks really pretty for a day look, if, and it is morning for me and for you probably, um, but what if we want a little more glam look? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this color right here, Blazing, and some of you might be scared of this color. We're gonna take a smaller brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the differences in the brushes I've been using. Okay, so I started all over with a light color that didn't really show up on my eyes with the biggest brush I have. This is a blending brush. And then we went to this medium blending brush. This is the fluffy crease brush for a little bit smaller area to place it. Now, now that we're going darker, we're going to get a smaller brush. This is my crease brush and it's kind of like a little baby brush, isn't it? Well, Let's go ahead and take that one, and this is why it's good to have different sizes of eye brushes, you guys, because they have different purposes. And I'm gonna hold my brush kind of on the very end so that I don't apply a whole lot. And again, watch that stippling, okay? Stippling, stippling. We're kind of going for an upside down V. That's usually what I'm trying to do here. Just stipple it on there, and then we're gonna be blending it in a second, okay? And I would love to see your looks on this, so if you guys do your own looks with palette six or with any colors that you've got, please message me a picture of yourself. And if you're not already in my U.S. VIP group, and you're in the U.S., um, please join it, okay? It's in my title of this video. Um, you can also get the kudos this month, my, my beauty bundle this month um, for August. Uh, it's in the comments, or it's in the title of this video, and as well as the beauty box. The beauty box will also give me $500, $500, not $500, 500 points towards earning my trip to Mexico. That's going to be in, in January, and I'm only 16 beauty boxes away, you guys. So I need your help to earn that. So if you've been thinking about just trying this makeup, or you want a really good discount on your makeup in general, then just get a beauty box, you guys. You do not have to sell this stuff. Um, it's for my premium customers is what I think. Okay, so now that I've placed it, I'm just gonna take that brush again, that biggest blending brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out a little bit. I'm trying not to take away the color too much. As you can see, it's fading it a bit, but it's also blending it. So we can always add more color if we need to, but let's definitely get those edges blended out a little bit. All right, so pretty, so pretty. And as a side note, um, that's a really nice color to um, put under your eyes. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit right now while I'm thinking about it and go right up under my uh, lashes, underneath my eye. This is so I don't have to use eyeliner underneath. I don't really like to use eyeliner under my eyes, especially black. I think it's too much. And this size of brush really fits well underneath your eyes anyway. All right, I wiped it off. You guys, I have a washcloth, as I said. And I'm going to go even darker with this color right here. This is the dark brown, and it's called Audacious, okay? I'm just going to get a little bit right in the middle here, okay? Again, stipple. Stipple. Upside down V, it's kind of a sideways V, I guess.
Tell me what your go-to eyeshadow color is. Look at that, you guys, isn't that pretty? All right, so we don't want that. I'm gonna blend it out, but I'm gonna blend it out with a smaller brush again. Wipe it off and then really lightly blend it. Tell me what your go-to eyeshadow color is. Um, I always choose chose browns um, before I started with Unique, but I have tried a whole lot of other colors now, and it's really, what I've really enjoyed is I've enjoyed trying other colors, so. But when all is said and done, I really love brown still, so <laughs> henceforth, we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna use my um, finger, actually, and kind of place oh, just a tiny bit of that maroon color back in the middle. because I want to make sure I capture some of that color. Okay, so yes, this is a glammy look here. All right, so now that we're to that, now you don't wanna to touch your face with your hand. Um, I am actually gonna take this color down here. I'm practically using everything in this um, thing. I wiped my finger off and now I'm gonna use this shiny color called Lofty and I'm just gonna kind of bring it in the front of my eye here, you guys. Over the top of my lid, maybe about three fourths of the way, two thirds of the way. and then just right underneath my um, arch. As you can tell, I already did my foundation, my skincare, my foundation, my eyebrows today, my lips. I did everything. This palette really has everything that I love though. So look at that, you guys. Okay, so we did palette six. I think we're gonna put it away now and we're gonna finish this eye look because my beauty bundle for um, August also includes this baby. And I haven't really showed it to you guys too much. This is an amazing liquid eyeliner and it only comes in black right now. Okay, first what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna clean up this eye right here. You can take a beauty blender or the concealer brush or whatever. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're not gonna give like big wings or anything like that, but this kind of lends itself to um, easy placement. It's kind of a place and drag. If you struggle with um, eyeliners, this is not too hard for you. I know some people struggle with a steady hand though and I know that that can be a challenge. So do your best. Give it a try and see if it's for you, okay? My um, link for my uh, August special is linked into the um, title. All right, I don't know if you have to shake it or not, but I'm going to. Again, I'm not doing like big wings or anything like that. I'm not going for that kind of look necessarily. Just kind of aim for the base of your eyelid, okay? Okay, look at that, you guys. Doesn't that eye um, eyeliner add so much? So amazing, okay. So I am going to go ahead. I have not got my twisted mascara yet. Um, and if you guys are wondering what the twisted mascara is, by the way, let me talk to you guys about that for a minute while I do my lash primer. Lash primer is gonna help separate my lashes, keep my mascara on longer, and also kind of extend my lashes a little bit 
just kind of gives that extra oomph and longevity to your mascara, whatever mascara you put on after this um, that you might need, okay, or want. Um, let's talk about twisted mascara for one second, maybe more than one second. <laughs> um, twisted mascara is a brand new mascara. It's coming out on next Monday, you guys. Oh, that's only a few days. Um, August 18th is when it's going to be available to the public. And it is two ones in the same tube. What? Like, I don't even understand it completely. One fits into the other wand. And it all screws together just like in normal mascara. Except there's two ones together. And it's basically, it's claim to fame is basically that it's got a larger wand and a small wand. And everybody is giving huge rave reviews about the small wand. Um, mostly because it can fit in every spot that you need to get your lashes. So especially I think those inner lashes and the ones on the bottom, these bigger, um, bigger ones make it a little bit harder to get carefully into those spots, right? I mean, I kind of can turn my wand around a little bit and get the end, but it's not like a perfect process, right? Um, when I do the bottom, I mean, I've always kind of struggled with feeling like the brush is a little bit more than what it needs to be. I really can't get these brush, these lashes right here very well. I mean, it. don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my 4D. I think the 4D is going to be um, my go-to for most of the time, but the new Twisted Mascara, uh, especially the ones, the small ones, is gonna give you that separation in your lashes that you've been wanting, okay? So, just so you know that. I think I'm going to be getting my Twisted Mascara today, so I will be able to show it off to you guys tomorrow, okay? Um, I am also starting school with my kids on Monday, so um, just FYI, I if I can continue doing my live videos at this time of day, then that should be okay. I should be able to keep doing that and going live with you guys, and nothing should change too much with you guys, but um, if I get delayed in any way, I may have to do my live videos later in the day. Just Just giving you guys that heads up right now. Starting on Monday, um, I will have a new schedule doing school with both with all four of my kids. So it's kind of a lengthy process. So, but I am trying to get up earlier these days so that I can um, see you guys and start my day a little earlier too. So I can be ready for the day. Seize the day, right? Carpe diem. Hey, Kim, how are you? Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. I cannot wait for our little team chat on Monday. That's going to be fun, too. I mean, like, we haven't really been able to see each other or anything, so it's going to be really sweet. All right, so I'm just about finished. I got the 4D and the Lash Primer on. I use the Esteem Lash Serum every single night, you guys, before I go to bed too. So that's why my lashes have gotten so long. You can barely see them with the glammy look I got today, but um, but seriously, can you see those lashes? They are longer because of the Esteem Lash Serum at night, and I'm not kidding you. I am not joking with you at all here. It has really given a length to my lashes that I love. That's a lot of L's. <laughs> Okay, you guys. So anyway, I think I finished the look for you guys and I'm going to go ahead and seal the deal by using my Behold setting spray. And I know my hair is not done, but I will um, let it dry naturally and um, take some glammy pictures for you and post them later. Okay. Just two squirts is all you need of the Behold setting spray. And I'm pretty much ready for the day, you guys, except for my hair. So, um, and you guys, I have to show you one more thing. Um, thank you, Kim. You're so sweet. Um, I have my Educate, Defend, Empower shirt on. And this is the first day I've worn it. And I got this as a donation to the Unique Foundation. And just for one second, I'm going to tell you about the Unique Foundation. 
Um, the Unique Foundation, what Unique, the company was founded in order to fund the Unique Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization um, dedicated to the healing of women who have been sexually abused as children. And that is such a wonderful cause. I am so happy to be able to um, round up on every order I give. Um, every order I put through, I, there's a chance for you to round up to the next dollar. Such an easy way to give money to the Unique Foundation. I also donate money to the Unique Foundation every month, extra amount out of my paycheck. And that is also partly why I was able to get the shirt. Um, they sent it to me as a thank you. So there's also a, um, another part of the Unique Foundation, which is called Defend Innocence. And this is an education forum, uh, nonprofit, that is there to educate parents and caregivers on how you can protect um, children while they're still children um, from being uh, a victim of sexual abuse. So it teaches um, a lot of ways for you to talk to your kids and also things um, that you can teach your kids or kids in your life, you don't even have to be a parent. Um, if there's ever any kids around you ever, um, you can help them learn how to be around strangers and what um, is appropriate.